Hey, hey, it's Filet. You're watching Filet TV. Today is Monday, February 15, 2016, and it has been 90 days since I got these little seedlings in the ground. If you take a look at the video, you can see there's a little seedlings right there. And about 90 days later, we have this and all of this. So now it's starting, time to start harvesting it. I'm going to make myself a nice juice. We're going to be adding stuff like the celery and collard greens, broccoli leaves. I've got three or four different types of kale in there that we're also going to be adding as well as parsley, spinach, Swiss chard, a few different types of, uh, two different types of chard. There's the colored chard and the regular green Swiss chard. And then we have a couple of different kinds of sorrel right here. And then, of course, we have beet tops parsley, spinach. Anyways, so we're going to get in here and start breaking some of this down, taking it off. So it looks like I'm going to need both hands to work. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and I'm going to get everything picked and see what we come up with. Okay, as you can see, I have a bit of a basket here and it is full. There is all kinds of stuff in here. So let's go break it down and see exactly what we have. Okay, here you go. I pulled everything out of the basket, laid it all out on the table, and this is my one-day yield from my vegetable garden. As you can see, they're all leafy greens. Yeah, there's some cauliflower and broccoli over there, but that's not going into my juice. All this is. So we have spinach. We have three different kinds of kale. We have broccoli leaves. Here is celery and parsley. There's romaine. And there's French sole right there and red sorrel here. We have stevia and mint. I finally am able to grow mint. And there we have the colored chard, the broccoli tops. And I will add some cucumbers and lemon just to give it a little bit more flavor and consistency. So let's get all this washed and moved into the juicer. Now what I do is I fill up my sink in a nice cool water bath and I just drop all my veggies in there. You know, I don't use any kind of pesticides or no additives or nothing so I'm not really worried about washing it that away. Just you know, if the dirt got picked up then I like to I just put it in there for a quick little bath. And then I start getting the juicer ready. Alright here we go time to finish up the juicing here. And the greatest thing about this is I leave all the stems everything in there all the branches that's all the really dense dense super nutrients are in the stems and in the branches 
And I just work my way in there slowly. No reason to rush it. And as you can see, with this corkscrew tongue extractor, oh no, it's cork, it's pump. And all I put in here, besides the leafy greens out of my own garden, was I cut up a couple of lemons, because I like a little tart. Those I stole out of the backyard, out of the neighbor's fence. I've also added ginger, because I haven't had any luck growing ginger. And I'm also adding a couple of carrots for the flavor. You gotta watch these things, you know, because they don't grow on trees. So you gotta be careful with them. You remember the sink was pretty full, so I did have just a little bit left over. I didn't want to bore you guys with two hours of me juicing. Oh, I actually couldn't be too bored. filter mechanism in here you could see that I still like to strain it one more time and through the magic of television and as you can see I strain it for the second time to make sure I get all of that stuff out then I give it a good mix and then I pour these off into my favorite 16 ounce jars. And let's see how it tastes. Yummy. There you have it. Juicing from Filet's garden from the time the seedlings went in the ground until the juice went in my belly. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.